Hi, I'm Dr. Woody. I'm here with Tim McMullen, founder and CEO of Red Pepper. So welcome. It's good to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me a little bit about Red Pepper and where this idea came from. Uh, Red Pepper is an advertising agency, mm -hmm. uh, sort of built on the new integrated model kind of platform. We're very much into digital and social and all those kinds of things, and we don't rely completely on traditional media uh, to, get, uh, to get business for our clients. We kind of do okay. very much integrated work. And now, as an entrepreneur, you know, mm -hmm. you've gone through quite a journey, I'm sure, in building the business. What's mm -hmm. it been like for you going from entrepreneur to executive in that changing role of being more of a leader than an idea guy? Well, I mean, I think going from each phase mm -hmm. is um, a new growth sort of opportunity or growth even kind of platform. You've mm -hmm. got to grow yourself as an individual if you're going to grow your company and grow your role in the company. And, um, you know, if I guess if I wanted to stay the, the sort of startup entrepreneur kind of by myself and I could, I could have uh, not worried about learning uh, mm -hmm. about, you know, operational environments and, and how to lead people and all that kind of stuff. But I love that sort of thing. Well, when it comes to growing yourself mm -hmm. that you mentioned, uh, and leading people, what, what are some of the things that you've had to grow about yourself when it comes to how do you work through others and manage others? Uh, probably the thing that I love the most is, and I, I got into advertising um, sort of by accident. I didn't major it in school and all uh -huh. that kind of stuff. I always knew that I wanted to be a part of shaping an environment that other people um, are a part of. And um, I actually thought that was restaurants, so I thought I wanted to run restaurants. But I realized that a creative environment like an ad agency uh, offers the same opportunity and, and a lot mm. of the same challenges of creating an environment that people want to grow, they want to perform, and that they love coming to work and it gives them a lot of energy. And, and that's my favorite thing to do. And now, are, are there a core set of values or guiding principles that have always been there that have helped you, especially navigate uncertainty and all the changes and challenges you've dealt with? Oh, most definitely. Okay. I think um, we're actually what I like to call a culture first company. Okay. So we actually say culture, people, clients. Mm -hmm. And um, what that has done is allowed us to put the culture and the environment in which we work above any one person. That's why the company's not named after a person. Hmm. Um, and it allows us to always um, judge ourselves against the core values of the company. We have core values. You walk into the, the lobby of the company and they're right there on the wall. It's not our work and our awards, it's our core values. Well, what are those core values? Well, the, the two that we sort of maybe brag about the most and that I think uh, I kind of push that I think any company should, ad uh, should adopt. Mm -hmm. The first one is if you're not changing, you're dying. The second a mm. company is formed, um, the second, the, it begins struggling with change and, mm -hmm. uh, and adapting to the environment. And um, so we make that the number one core value so that we're constantly pushing ourselves to evolve and let go of the fears and, and the things that um, prohibit um, our own evolution. So that's core value number one. Okay. But now, it's one thing to have them on the wall, right. to read them. So I can right. walk in and I see that. Right. But how would I feel it and experience if I'm walking down the halls? Sure. Walking in office to office? Well, the... the um, and it's kind of, we, we, we challenge ourselves to make our decisions and bring our core values to life. We make our decisions as, with our core values as filters, mm -hmm. and we challenge ourselves to bring our core values to life. And, um, and so we've all kind of bought into them, and, but we're all bringing definition to them as we make management decisions sure. or as we make um, culture decisions and, and things about our environment. So we're always bringing them to life. Um, you know, the, our most other most important core value is okay. we actively support personal growth. We know that if a growing person is a more open-minded person, they're a person that's going to help your company evolve and they're going to be happier. And, and more able to change, like you exactly. said, which is the first one. Right? Exactly, exactly. So that's how we change, is we right. push people to grow and all that sort of thing. And that, but that right there um, helps people feel confident mm -hmm. in um, bringing to life uh, the core values in other ways as well. What are some examples of how you push people to grow? Because that can be a tough thing. Uh, we do a couple things. One is we, uh, I mean, and it's not, it, the trick is that it's not um, sort of a dictated um, <laughs> model, right? Right, right. Uh, so it's, but it's I, not forced learning. You, right. know, you have to go learn this kind of thing. Correct. Okay. But I am very much like, almost kind of like a personal trainer. You don't mind mm. when your personal trainer pushes you a little extra hard sure. because you, you know, you like the way you look when you go to the pool, you know, and, <laughs> and the same thing goes with personal growth is generally speaking, 
people don't mind you pushing them in their own growth because at the, on the back side of that, they become more self-confident, feel more valuable, mm -hmm. and, and they realize what their kind of potential really is. Well, it sounds a little bit of, of like a coaching culture, yeah. right? And where you're training, because your managers would be coaches for their, their teams, right? It's not quite um, as much of a pyramid scheme like that. Okay. As a matter of fact... <laughs> well, I didn't uh, mean it was a pyramid scheme, and, uh, but... Well, I mean, as a matter of fact, we have, uh, and this group sort of formed itself, but they are um, the sort of the growth team. Mm, and okay. there's just a kind of a group that got together, and they are growth coaches for people. And we all created uh, what we call accountability buddies um, for, like, you'll have a personal growth plan, I'll have a personal growth plan. Yep. We'll challenge each other to do things in, in okay. a particular quarter. Okay. Um, we'll do things like contests and where we're lifted up and we'll, we'll, we'll share what each other are growing about and we'll give away prizes and, and just try to make mm. it fun. And, and if you, I think that's the trick, like you said it earlier, most businesses for one, don't have a really strong set of core values. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because if you want to rely on them, like you said, during difficult times or during difficult decisions, mm -hmm. for one, you've got to have them. And two, you've got to bring them to life and make them part of your decision-making process. And that's how we do it. We don't make decisions based on 42 different criteria. We make it right. based on five core values. It, where do these values come from? Um, I mean, uh, entrepreneurially speaking, they do tend to come from the a little bit of the heart and soul of the entrepreneur themselves. Right, but, which is you in this case, right? right. So yours came from yeah. what, life experience, upbringing? Yeah, a little bit was the opposite of, of kind of, I was pretty, not a, not a very good student. And <laughs> um, when I f finally started sort of learning and growing, I yeah. realized how powerful it was. And I got mad at myself, and I stayed mad at myself, and, and that is why growth is such an important core value at Red Pepper, because I myself want to be constantly pushed to grow, and I struggle with growth, and we all do, and so I want people around me pushing me to grow. And, um, so I, but the cool thing is, as you evolve as a company, those core values, people buy into them, and you tend to hire people that want to buy into them. And mm -hmm. like I said, we don't put any one person above the culture. So if someone comes in and, and they don't embrace the core values, and and um, you know they're mean or something like that. They just don't last at Red Pepper. And uh, we we basically we say we don't fire people. The culture does. The culture, huh? Mm -hmm. So it's that it's really that powerful. It sounds like it the is. culture there, and people it really is. do buy into it. Mm -hmm. Well, Tim, thank you so much for coming and sitting down with me. I appreciate you sharing your values and the values of Red Pepper. No problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs>